What's up guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to build inside your freighter. But first we have to take care of a couple of things. So over here I have um, like more storage and things and everything is beautiful. And over here is our farming room. Yes, we have farming set up. And let's go ahead and talk to our farmer over here. Hello there assistant. What do you have to say? Okay, he is talking about Venom Sack and we need some kind of suit to protect us. Because it is paralyzing. Just temporarily. Okay, it's fine. We already have a hazmat suit built. Gravitino Orb. Nice. There we go. So we have learned the formula to grow one of these plants. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, Gravitino Orbs were very um, valuable. If, if you can put it that way. Yeah, very valuable. Let's go ahead and talk to our boulder over here. I forgot what you needed. Talk to me, little buddy. He requires Mordite. Interesting. Okay. I think that is killing of animals, which I don't approve of. But let's talk to our geologist Larry over here and see what he wants. Okay. Con or candesium or condensium. I think that's what he needed. And I think I did see a couple of planets that do have it. So let's talk to our weapons expert over here. And I think he needed daggers. Yep, he needs daggers. So I still have to go find these daggers. And I think you get them from loot crates. Yeah, I think it's loot crates or you can trade for them. But first, uh, let's see if we do not have anything in our inventory. Yeah, we don't have enough over there. Let's see. We have Antrium. Hmm. Not too sure. Let's see over here. No daggers over here. And nothing there. Nope. And no. But we do have Antrium and Mordite right there. So let's go back to our boulder and see what he has to say. If we give him the stuff. The good stuff. You know, the good stuff. The stuff that makes you high. Hi. <laughs> Alright, talk to me, little buddy. Okay, alright, we get ya. We have Mordite for you. And what do we get in return? Decals. Um, okay, that is something new. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. Maybe we should spend an episode just designing the whole base and putting decals on every wall. Interesting. Anything else you have to say? You require circuit boards, but auto mining. Oh, that would be cool. I really want to check that out. But you require a circuit board and you just told us we need to go see the scientist. But yeah, the scientist requires uh, the one element thingy. Yeah, the element stuff. I forgot its name. But anyways, um, let's quickly want to see over here. 55 Mordite, 143 Anterium. Okay, so we still need to learn the circuit board, but I think that will come in due time. And don't we have enough to plant the Gravitino Orb thingy? Farming. Oh yes, I think we do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got a plant. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put a cut in here and go on a little expedition to see if we can, if well, if I cannot find more elements and resources and those kind of things. 
and then I will bring you guys right back. See you guys in a bit. And welcome back peeps. So I went on a little expedition and got most of the resources. As you guys can see, candasium, can whatever, and some vault orbs or things to create create warp cells. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. All right, so Mr. Larry, I have your elements that you need. Yes, enough chit chat. I want to give you your stuff, so you can give me stuff. And it's not what we really wanted, but it's a new type of blueprint. All right, do you have anything else to say? All right, so the new blueprint will be circuit board, but we need that venom stuff. I will return with the, what do you call it, the venom? I don't know what you need it for, but yeah, maybe you want to assassinate somebody or something. Somebody talking crap about you, my friend. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, dude, what's up? Let's see what you have to say. I don't think... <laughs> you still require a circuit board, and yeah, that's what you actually require. And what did you need again, Mr. Weapons Expert? Was it the... Oh, yes, you require the daggers. Uh-huh, all right. That is interesting. You still need the daggers. I forgot actually to get some. Oh, look, our ball is ready. There we go. We have a ball. <laughs> yeah, look at that. One of them. 8,000. That thing costs 8,000. That's just one. All right, let's go ahead and put you in here. Cool. And let's go over here. I just want to do some inventory management. Uh, What? There's already a ball in here. Okay, let's go ahead and put those things away. And there's more of that element stuff the scientist wanted. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put the ball where it belongs with its other ball friend. There we go. Now I have two balls. That, that sounded wrong. Whoops. Okay, so let's see. Um, a warp cell requires antimatter. If you want to create antimatter, we need the blue element. Is it an element? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and craft craft more. Oh, make some antimatter. And then let's craft a warp cell. Okay, I cannot craft any more antimatter, but I'm pretty sure we can now go ahead and craft a warp cell and send that to our spaceship. Let's put these things back. And we can probably put this guy back in here as well. Okay, let's just sort a couple of things out over here. Alright, put you there, put you down, put you there. And yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's see if there's space anywhere to put more things. Okay, you do have space. Let's put the zinc in there. And that's cool. Let's talk to our farmer once again. Okay. You need some pearls. Really? Pearls? Alright, mark it on the map. And... Nothing? No coordinates? Oh, you know what, guys? This is a bug. Yeah, this is a glitch in the game. Yeah, I'll have to go read up on that. Yeah, probably have to go read up on that. All right. See if I cannot sort that out. Yeah, but I think we should go to the freighter and look at all the emerald I have. <laughs> I've been collecting a ton of emerald. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp to the freighter. And then I will show you guys how to build inside the freighter. So I will see you guys when we get to it. Oh, what? Uh oh. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Guys, I think I've just glitched into our own freighter here. I, I can't get out. And I cannot 
warp out again or anything. Ow, just took some damage. What the hell's going on? What? How did this happen? Um. Okay. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get out of here and then we're gonna talk with the freight. So, so see you guys when I get out of this mess. And welcome back, peeps. So, I escaped after about 20 minutes of fighting. But yeah, I managed to escape and uh, yeah, we're here. Finally. Oh man, took a lot of damage. Alright, but anyways, we are here in a freighter. Welcome guys, welcome to the freighter. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. Oh yeah. Okay, so first things first, uh, just to give you guys a quick tour around here. We are in the docking bay. I think you can fit about 369... Yeah, 9 ships, whatever. And up here... We go to the deck this way. Alright, so if you guys were wondering how to buy a freighter, just look for that icon and come and talk to this guy over here. And he can make you an offer. But I have to warn you, these things are extremely expensive. I spent about 7 million credits on this guy, on this freighter. And this is the only way to transfer items from your freighter to your ship. I know it sucks really does but anyways so this is the captain's or what do you call it the i forgot i can't remember what this part is the cabin no the, uh not the cabin uh i forgot the deck yeah it's the i think it's the deck but yeah but it looks pretty cool i love it it's awesome so let's go to the uh captain's quarters so, on the upper side, opposite side of the deck, you will find these stairs. Yep, this way. And then you will get an airlock system. There we go. And inside looks like actually a normal base. Oh yeah, not much going on though. Really, it's a bit drowsy. But you can build in it. That's all you do. When you, once you get inside the captain's quarters, you can just go ahead and press Z on your keyboard. And then it would activate the building for you. So let's see. If we put one of these rooms here, this is how it looks like. I don't know how big of a base you can build inside a freighter, but you can build inside the freighter. And I think you can make a fully functional base, farm and all, inside here. Inside the freighter. And travel the stars. Okay, so as we can see, we can place a couple of... Uh, decorations and the terminals and I think if you have a structure on top of this structure then you can build your ladders upwards then you can build upwards like double story and all that triple story I don't know how high and like I said I don't know how big you can build these bases inside your freighter but it's pretty cool I really do love the idea it's a little home home away from home Oh man, this, this is gonna be a game changer. Okay, so, yeah, you're not, you're not really allowing me to build uh, weird cuboid rooms. But you let me do it there. Oh, that is pretty, pretty freaking cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, and you can go quite far out. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so... This is going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for joining me here on No Man's Sky. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.